So I'm at the beautiful Bletchley Golf Club again today. I'm at my academy, my studio. I'm out on the driving range working on my game. So lots of golfers have been coming to me this week, loads of lessons in the studio. What is the most common fault that I've seen this week? And it's the flip, it's the handle back, it's the head forwards, it's the face looking left, and it's the loft looking up. The dreaded flip. How do you stop it? I'm gonna show you now. So the flip, what's happening? The leading wrist here, top hand on the golf club, that's bending back too early, okay? It's going into this extended position too early in your downswing, and by the time you get to impact, the handle is behind the head. That's an absolute no-no. That's gonna scoop the ball. That's gonna lower your smash factor, lower your compression. It's gonna point the face left and up, and then we're gonna to start to see the body do some very interesting things, leaning back to try and steer that ball more to the right so you can try and hit it on target. It's a dreadful shot, I see lots of it. So, what do you need to do? Well, assuming that you've got a decent grip, you can watch one of the other videos on the channel for how to grip the golf club. I've got at least two decent videos on my channel. So, a good grip with a minimum of two, if not three knuckles, we want to point this crease line to the right shoulder. We want to see the club in the fingers. Very, very important in your lead hand. Club in the fingers, not up the lifeline or in the palm. Critical that you get the positioning of the handle in the correct place in your hands using your fingers. Because we're going to use the fingers to purchase the club, to hold the club properly while our wrists move properly on the downswing in transition as we start down and forwards. So what needs to happen on the downswing as you can see from this view, that handle, the midpoint, the couple there between the two hands, that needs to work up, it needs to work back, and then it's gonna work around to the golf ball. How do I do that? I'm gonna get my lead wrist here and I'm gonna get it into flexion. I'm gonna turn that hand and back of hand to face a camera I imagine pointing down my target line over to you there. If I'm wearing a glove, I'm gonna turn the fastener of the glove towards my playing partners which will be standing down the line from me watching me, okay? So point the back of the hand towards the camera. What's that gonna to do to the shaft? It's gonna shallow it for you. Shallow that shaft, shut that face down to make it look down the line or plane that it's coming down to towards the golf ball. This is the position you want to be in transition and then that's gonna allow you to pivot through. So the flip can work for you if it's done at the right time. So we're gonna have this wrist bowed or flexed, this lead wrist. It's gonna be flexed before it gets to the golf ball. It's gonna be curled under face is going to be organized looking a little bit more left of what you're normally having it pointing towards you're going to see this face matching my bend towards the golf ball okay my spine bend so that face is in that position and i'm going to pivot all the way through and if i release the wrist at the right time i'm going to be losing the shaft lean and i'm going to line the head up so there's a little bit of lean depending on the offset to get that nice compression good compression on the golf ball show the correct loft, touch the ball on the right part of the face, launch and spin it correctly to optimize your ball flight. So let's have a little go at that then. So we're gonna work on that, we're gonna do some drills so you can see how I move the club in transition. So, good posture, gonna get to the top, gonna work that shaft in position as I pivot all the way round. So, into position and through. 
lower ball flight, much more in control, low launch in this, on this windy day here at Bletchenley. It's gonna keep the ball down. It's gonna spin it right to make it climb correctly. It's gonna get you good compression, increase your smash factor on your radars. It's gonna launch the ball much, much better for you. Hit it correct distance so that then you can lower your scores, okay? That's how you stop the flip. That's how you increase compression. That's how you optimize your ball flight. Hope you enjoyed that tip. Enjoy your golf. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate your support with the channel. Please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and click on the notifications icon so that when you log on to YouTube, you see my new videos when I release them. Thank you very much. You guys are great.